viewers what's going on with you welcome to another vlog yeah child welcome back child good sunday morning to you uh-huh i'm up in here uh y'all see me making me some coffee child yes because uh me and silk get ready to get out here in the street child we're about to get out here in these 1022 in the morning streets uh-huh 1022 in them uh sunday morning streets yes 1022 Sunday Morning Streets. That's what we about to do. Uh huh. We're on our way to um, Lowe's because I had a bright idea, right? You know my my, my wheels is always turning, child. And um, I had said that um, over there in my you know my office area, uh, I got plants that I need to put over there because y'all know we don't have a whole bunch of light to come through this house, child. So I'm trying to save the plants that I got, you know? And um, I told Silk, I said, I want to build me a table. Mm -hmm. Well, I got to look at on Pinterest to get some ideas and child. Instead of building the table, we're going to do like a window thing. Like we're going to get some wood and um, and, and uh, build me a, like a ledge thing. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Build me like a ledge or whatever. Um, like a plant shelf right there in the window. Uh-huh. So we're gonna go and get some um some wood and uh, uh what else and whatever stuff we need to uh you know adhere the stuff to the um to the wonder there. Mm -hmm. That's what we about to go do, child. And I really want to fix these people. Well, I ain't gonna say I really want them, but uh I'm gonna fix these people something to uh chew on. Well, I don't know, y'all. I I uh. I kind of feel like doing it and I kind of don't you know um it's um my stomach is is uh bothering me a little bit so I don't even know how I feel about uh cooking I might you know I like to get the people a meal at least on Sundays I like to get them a meal you know but um sometimes we can't always get what we want you can't always get the people what they want you know so it is what it is. Um, I'm definitely going to uh, put my best foot forward and see what I could do for the people. You know, I got cramps. So if my, um, if, if the medicine kicks in and, you know, I get a little bit of energy, then I would definitely do that. You know, I always like to put my best foot forward. But I want to fix the people something to eat or not. You know, I don't want the people walking around here passing out and stuff because that just, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to be to blame for that, you know. So, anyway, child. Oh, yes, Lord. We gonna get on out here sick out there from, uh, uh, already, so I'm gonna put this back, and then I'm probably not gonna take out the loads. We gonna be there that long. I'm gonna come on back, and um, I see y'all in a little bit. Okay, alrighty then. Bye bye now. Okay, I said I wasn't um, going to bring you all along, um, but I felt like y'all would miss me or whatever, you know, y'all being at home, me being out here at the Lowe's and stuff, you know, while I'm, you know, out looking for wood. So I said, let me just, let me bring them with us, you know, that's, that's very rude. But, um, I don't recall wood being this expensive, um, like, 30 and 40 and 50 piece, $50 for a, a piece of wood. We don't need, we don't, we don't need, um, I'm just trying to figure out what tree they got this wood from, because it's expensive. What tree did you get this from? I'm confused. This is out of line. Um, every time I come in those, I'm tempted to um, I'm tempted to speak with somebody on the importance of their prices because um, I mean on the importance of yeah their prices because the name of your store just don't go along with the prices. It say Lowe's, but everything ain't nothing in here low. It ain't. All right, y'all. Uh, y'all see back at the house, child. And um, when we was in Lowe's, child, I had to go on ahead and just put the camera up because um, I felt like we were still outside. It's real, it, for us, it's real chilly here today. Well, and if, forget chilly, it's cold. Um, they it, it said it's 50 degrees. Well, hold on a second, because you know, when they be hitting you with that feel like, I be saying to myself, if that's what the feel like is, if it feel like that, then that's what it is. Like, it say it feels like 52, but the wind is 17 miles per hour. So, yeah, I, it's it's cold to me. And um, it, I, I couldn't take it. I had to, I, I couldn't come out. I couldn't take my, you know, I couldn't relax because I was 
in one of these modes the whole time I was up in there. And I said, Lord have mercy, I can't. I, 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 something has got to give. So I just couldn't even bring the camera out no more, child. I had to keep my hands in my pocket, you know. Um, anyways, let me tell y'all what I'm in here doing. I'm making some lasagna soup. Yes. And um, I think I saw this on Pinterest. I think it was Pinterest. And uh, she, um, she started out with ricotta, Parmesan, 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 or whatever you want to call it. Yep, she started out with that and some, uh, what I said, ricotta, Parmesan. I'm going to use this last little bit and then add some salt and pepper. She sat there to the side and then she moved her way on over to the um, to the stove to commit to um, fixing the rest of the meal. Okay, so it, 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 it looks like it's not going to take me long and that's right on my alley. So we're going to have this uh, lasagna soup, yes, and some garlic knots. I said that's enough and I'm going to make some Kool-Aid, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the VIP uh, Kool-Aid. Yep. I said I was gonna cut this up, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cut this up. It'll melt. It'll do what it need to do. Yep. Sure will. Cause I, she she was she was doing you know grading it up. I said, girl, I'm not gonna do that. What I look like? I'm not doing that. I said, don't you know my name is Tiff, and I don't I don't wanna be in this kitchen. Mm -mm. But um, I wanted to uh, talk to y'all, you know, in reference to. In reference, one moment. Okay, that should be enough there. Shake the rest of that out. In reference to the last uh, vlog when I was talking about, you know, how uh, Chris had, um, you know, turned 18 and the tomfoolery that went on at the uh, at the doctor's office trial. Um, Y'all know, like I said, I just wasn't appreciating the way it went down. And I get it that Chris has turned 18. I understand that. He's considered in, in the... Uh, I guess according to the law, he's an adult. He's not a legal adult. Therefore, I know there are some things that the boy can do on his own at 18. But I feel like these laws slash rules or whatever, child, they put in place for the people who ain't paying. I don't understand that. I really don't. And somebody make this part make sense. Now, I had to put Chris on the phone so he can give them um, authorization so I can speak on his behalf, correct? Okay. Now, y'all didn't get permission from Chris to change his primary care provider. Y'all just went in there and did that. So somebody made that make sense. Y'all have to get permission from Chris to talk to me, but nobody had to get uh, permission to change his primary care. Nobody called Chris to see if it was okay if they changed his primary care. So somebody made that make sense. Mm -mm. That, that, ain't, that right there is, is not adding up. Mm -mm. That ain't. It's really not. No, I said, wait a minute. That, that don't make sense there. And um, one of you lovely family members said that, um, you know, up until they 26, hold on, because, um, uh, hold on, wait a minute, I just lost my train of thought, I was fixing to say something else um, about that. Um, I, I, knowing me, I probably didn't even, uh, oh, man, tell. oh, with him being like with the doctor, she'll see them up until they are 21. And I want to say, Miss Teresa, was it you, girlfriend? Yeah, was it Mr. Yes, it was Miss Teresa. Girl, Teresa Carr, 4068. Girlfriend, you, you had said and whatnot down here at the bottom of your, your comment here. You had said that, um, you know, because I think a couple of y'all had said that, you know, if he go to college and stuff, that he'll have to give us permission to discuss his grades or whatever is going on. And I said, that is, that is, yeah, that's, that's crazy because... Ain't nobody got to give us permission to pay that bill. But Miss Teresa, girlfriend, you said, oh, and yeah, you still on the hook for the bill today, 26. Let me tell you something. The Bible say, <laughs> a man who don't work, he don't eat. So let me tell you something. If Chris ain't doing what he need to do by 26, look, your mama and your daddy, we here to help you. We are not here to do everything for you. But I just have to let him know what the Bible say about him. The, the Bible say a man don't work, he don't eat. So can we put in parenthesis there? that um if what what can i say how can i put this the bible say if a man don't work he don't eat okay the bible say if a man don't work he don't eat so in parenthesis we need to put something there that says um if a man don't work he also can't go to the doctor <laughs> something to that effect because 
how are these laws put in place for the ones who ain't paying? And all the way up until you're 26, you a grown man. You a grown man at 26. You grown. 18, you still, to me, you still a child. You may be considered an adult according to society or the law or whatever. But in my mind, my eyes, you are still a child because you are not legal. You're not. You're not legal. You can go out there and do some things on your own. Got it. You know, you can stay back there and keep some things to yourself and don't want to tell your mama. That's fine. You know, I, I get it. But... When it comes to like certain things with that, like your parents is paying for you and you and y'all saying that we don't have access to it, I mean they gotta give us permission. Like we paying the bill. So if he let's just say he in college and I wanna know his grades and whatnot, I gotta if he ain't let me so he gonna keep that from me. So what if you flunking out? What if you flunking out? But you paying, but I'm paying every month. I'm paying. Something about that ain't right. I, I think they need to fix that one. They really do. They really do. Because it just don't make sense. None of this makes sense. It, the, the laws is in place for the people who ain't paying. That's all I got to say. The people who are not paying, that's who they protecting. I said, my Lord, today, I heard that. You do a little housekeeping. Because that was something else there. It really was. I said, wow. Okay. Anyways, let's put the top on next. We don't need no mishaps. But anyway, I got me some... Um, some onion here uh, that I done already cut up. Some parsley that I done cut up. And I got some right here as well. So I cut and washed all this stuff and cut and wash. And I'm saving a little bit of parsley towards the end. And I'm going to need this because it's going to have to go inside the pot as well. So uh, let's move over here to the other side of the kitchen. So we can get this meat and stuff browned. Okay? One moment. Alright, so I'm breaking up my, uh, my lasagna sheets and everything. Child, it's getting out of line already. Um, I didn't finish telling y'all about my my experience at at uh at Lowe's and everything. Just gonna kind of break these in half. Like I don't want to spend a whole lot of time breaking them up, you know. But uh, uh we're gonna have to go to another Lowe's because the little clamps that we need for uh, for the um let me put this over here. The little clamps that we need for the um for the, the wood and stuff it's uh it's hold on can y'all see okay at any rate the the clamps that we need they our lows only had one child just one i said how y'all only got one up in there child bye um so silk right now is outside sanding the uh <clears throat> sand in the wood and stuff so i guess we're gonna go on ahead and you know get that part done and then uh um, you know we'll go from there i, I was hoping to have it done today because it, it looked like it was pretty simple you know um you you break your what that whatever size you want that's what you do you know i'm i'm just trying i'm really just um i was breaking them in threes but you know Maybe I, I'll break it down one more time. You know, I guess you don't want them too big. So, uh, okay. Break that one there. And then, that should be enough there. Okay. All right, that should be good. I'm, well, I need to break up another one because I can tell you that's probably not going to be enough there. So, we break up. Um, so, I'm going to just break up the whole box. That's what I'm going to do. Just break up the whole box. That's what I'm going to do. Yep, because why not? You know, here's what it is. I got some butter over in here. And let me get my olive oil in here. Okay? Got some olive oil. I need butter and olive oil. And then I'm going to get these onions and minced garlic over here. As soon as that starts to get a little sizzle, sizzle. Y'all hear the sizzle, sizzle? You, you probably don't, but it's coming. I can hear it. It's a quiet sizzle right now, okay? It's a quiet sizzle. Okay, we done broke that in here. We just do that like so. Um, mm, sure. I had to screen record the thing, but you know, I told you, I said, well, I just don't understand why they be going so damn fast. But I, I really, I kind of do, because they be in a hurry. They be ready to get out of their kitchen. I said, I feel you. I understand. I know what you're trying to do. So, you know, let me just screen record it, and I know where I can stop it whenever I need to. Um, okay, we got the sizzle, sizzle. Let's get these onions over here. Onions. The onions. Shaw, the onions are in. Let me bring y'all in a little closer because I, I don't I feel like y'all can't um let me see. 
Okay, y'all can't see that down there. But it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Put some minced garlic. She ain't say how much, you know, do you. That's what I say, but I'm finna finish this off because it wasn't that much in here, no way. Uh, I don't think I'm, well, I got a little in there, but I don't think I'm gonna need no more. I just wanna finish this off right here. Yeah, just finish it off, child. Okay. And we're gonna move that around. Yep. Oh, wait a minute, because we don't want to leave nothing. You know, I'll tell you, you pay for these ingredients, Shy. You better go on ahead and use them. You done paid for it. Use them, okay? Use them. Mm-hmm. All right, I think that's good there. Um, we need that down. I need to get me a bit of spoon, though. Let me use this one. Okay? And so from here... I am going to just add my ground beef over here with some uh, seasonings. I was going to uh, uh, add me some, um, like some uh, Italian sausage, but I'm just using what I already got. Uh, yep. So uh, I ain't had nothing. I ain't feel like uh, I said this gonna have to do. Okay. This gonna have to do. Let me get me some. I'm gonna add me a little. Now, if you will, bam, garlic, and onion powders, okay? And maybe just a little bit of the bread, all right? You do you. You do you, all right? Do your thing, all right? Oh, you know what? I might add me a little, uh, okay. A little lyris. We got that going. Lyris with this blend, blend. Don't get overzealous with none of this stuff. The lyris, the blend, the garlic, the onion, you know. Wow, that's a little hard to put in there, okay? The blend is in. What's this? Uh, garlic powders, okay? Garlic powders is in there, all right? Onion powders, and then I want to add a little Italian seasoning. That's what I'm going to do. Italian seasoning. Shaw, where my Italian seasoning at? I know I got some. Right here. Yep. Italian. Italian seasoning, okay? I'm adding that in. Uh oh, wrong way, child. Okay. Making a mess here, too. It's okay. You can wipe it up. Italian seasoning. All right. All that is going to end, child. And it smells absolutely amazing. All right? So uh, let me get this all browned and together. And as soon as the meat and everything is browned, child, I'm going to get back with you. Okay? So y'all can see the process. All right? Okay, then. I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. All righty then. Bye-bye now. Okay, um, now I'm getting ready to add in the uh, my, my pasta sauce. I, I'm using the chunky garden combination. Mm hmm. Uh, drain the meat and everything, child. Yeah, you're doing a little too much there. Okay, let's just add that over in yonder. And then we're just mixing, child. I'm gonna add this pasta sauce, the um, some heavy whipping cream. Mm-hmm, and some chicken broth. I saw where some people were adding beef broth, uh, if you will. Yes, let's get all of that out of there, please. No. Uh, we don't want to waste anything, yeah. Okay, we don't want to waste nada. Zip, zilch, zero, okay? However you want to say it. I think that's it. Let's put this over here. Rinsing my hands off, I'll be right with you. One moment, one moment, one moment. Okay, I had to add a little water to that just so I can get. Mm -hmm. I just want to. Uh oh, I just want to get that little residue from down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know I ain't the only one that ever did that before. I know I ain't. The heavy whipping cream. Uh -huh, let's get that over there. Okay. She ain't say how much, child. So I'm just doing the best I can. Yep. Best I can, child. 
she said a little bit okay depending on what you call it. everybody a little bit is a di it's different everybody a little bit is different okay and i'm gonna add some um what you call it the chicken broth mm -hmm. oh lord you almost had a mix out told you child okay all right i'm just gonna finish that off there it seemed like a lot but it really wasn't but if it was it don't matter Eat it anyway, okay? Eat it, child. All right. And then we're going to mix that around. And I'm going to put the noodles over in here and let that cook. Okay. I'm just going to add my noodles. The noodles are going in, okay? The noodles are going in. Noodles, noodles, noodles. Put them in there. Get them in there. Noodles. Yep. Noodles. Mix it up as you go, child. Mix it up. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you break your noodles up however big or small you want them, okay? Um, I don't care about the size. Well, yeah. Because they're going to, you know, they're going to get soft anyway, so it don't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably could have broke them up just a little bit smaller, but y'all know I be trying to get up out of here. Did I say we was having some garlic knots? Because we having some garlic knots. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's enough. Make that Kool-Aid for them peepers. And there it is. Child, I got a feeling there ain't going to be none of this left. Mm -hmm. Today is a good day for soup, child, because it's cold out that dough. Yes. I'm excited. Child, I'm making a mess. One moment. Oh, Lord, all over my good stuff. Child. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. It don't matter. I'll be all right. Okay. Let me get the other ones over in here. I got to make room. Y'all got to make room. All right. Child. Okay, we almost got the noodles in there. I was going to make the people some... um chocolate chip cookies today because Cindy sent me this recipe for some chocolate chip cookies and um yeah I don't have that in me today mm -mm, I really don't I don't have it I gotta I got to get my mind right because I gotta do cameras uh do their hair tomorrow yeah mm. that, that, that in itself requires at least two weeks rest before and after okay because my goodness all right, I'm going to let that cook. Talk gone. Today is just not my day. Huh? I'm going to let this cook and let these noodles cook down and do whatever it is they're going to do. And I'll be back with you. Go out here and check on sit and make sure he's warm enough, okay? Because if not, I'm telling you, I, don't, I, I can't make it warm. Let me come in the house for a little bit and warm up and then go back out there or something. I don't know. Because right now I got my heat on. I know y'all hear it. I don't like my feet to be cold. Okay? So I'm going to let that cook. Let them cook down. And do whatever they're gonna do, and I'll be back with y'all, okay? Alrighty then, bye bye now. Okay, y'all, so um, the noodles have uh, uh, they done, they did their thing, they done, uh, softened and whatnot. And we got, I already added some parsley over in here, yeah. I got a little head of a seven added the parsley, but we're putting some parmesan, mm -hmm, a little bit of parmesan, put however much you want to put in there, okay? Parmesan, mm hmm. And some, um, oh, I got basil. I want to put some basil in there. She added basil. Let's see. Okay. All right. The basil. Basil. Basil is in there. Okay. All right. And some mozzarella. I told you my pasta was already in there. Mozzarella. And then we're going to mix that up. Okay. Child, I've just been making a whole mess the whole time I've been in here. So we're going to. Mix that up, child. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, child, I know this finna be the business. It smells amazing. Got my oven warming up so I can get these garlic knots in here. And, um, yeah, we gonna go from there, child. I cannot wait. Okay. It's 3.15. Yes. Okay, look at the cheese. Child, bye. Mmm, mmm. Okay. 
My noodles a little big, but guess what? It's going to be all right. If they too big for you, cut them up. Cut your soup up so you can chew it up and hush up, okay? <laughs> all that. All righty then. Um, guess I put a little ricotta on here because I want to know why she had, like at the end of hers, I didn't see where she put the ricotta in there, but she put dollops on the top. I said, well, girl, I could have saved the ricotta because that was, un with that much that she had was unnecessary. I said, wow. Anyway, so I put some on here and uh, we need to do a little housekeeper child and get these garlic knots in here and then um, I'll be back with y'all, okay? Alrighty then, bye-bye now. Check it out. We, How y'all doing? Mm-hmm. We back out here in these uh 451 in the evening streets. Yup, we on our way back to Lowe's. We're going to a different Lowe's this time because the other one let us down, okay? Oh child. I think I told y'all that though. But uh let's talk about how amazing I feel right now. I done fed the peoples, they done chewed and everything, child. The, the, the uh rhyme, what I'm trying to say to you, the kitchen is cleaned. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I threatened them cheering within an inch of their life when I went, when I got ready to tell them that we was fixing to go. I told them, I said, if y'all put one drop of water up in my sink, my nice, polished, shiny sink, it's going to be me and them when I get back. It's going to be me and them. Because mm -hmm. I told them, I said, technically the kitchen is closed, okay? So if you just feel that you just got to go in there, you best be putting it back like you found it, okay? Or else we're going to have some problems. Mm-hmm. Anyways, we back out here in these streets, like I said, we on the way to the Lowe's, child. Mm. Ah, it feels amazing. I was going to do a load of laundry, but I said, bump that laundry, child, please. Bump that. I did laundry get done later. Okay. Anyways, um, I think that's all I had. Oh, I thought I left my phone at home. I think that's all I had wanted to say to y'all. Um, y'all was making me proud down there. Look, I made the Kool-Aid and got the, the red stain up under my fingernail. Good thing I got a nail appointment on Wednesday. Um, mm. I really do. Eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock. I'll be the first one when she fresh, you know. Um, I had did some um some screenshots of some of you all's comments when I asked y'all if y'all um you know said the intro and whatnot with me, and um a few of them stood out. And this is coming from Pamela Littleton sixteen twenty nine. Mm -hmm. She said, Tiff, I usually only say the ending with you. Two nights ago, my 10-year-old granddaughter was in my room, and when she walked out, she turned around and said, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> she said in, the, in my video, what she said in the video wasn't even on. That's what I'm talking about, baby girl. Yes, uh-huh. I absolutely love it. Yes, y'all making me proud down here, okay? And um, what had else? What else had I seen downtown? <clears throat> um, okay, not that one. Give me a moment. One moment. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, mm -hmm, mm, okay. Oh, I think that was it. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> Woo! Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it. There. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was hilarious to me. Um, hold on, because there was a nerd. Um, there was a nerd. I got to find it. I got to go down there in the comments and find it. And when I do, I'm going to, uh, let me see if I can find that real quick. And I'll get back with y'all in a moment. Okay, alrighty then. Bye bye now. Okay, I'm back. And I found a, 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 a few of the ones that I forgot to screenshot. But this right here, this is coming right here from, coming from a girl, Shalita Jenkins. Shalita Jenkins, 39, 49. Uh-huh. This is in reference to me talking about the cheering turning 18 and whatnot. She said, I work for a hospital. And at 13 years old, they start changing what the parents can see in the portal. By 16 years old, the child can take the parents' permission away. Shut your mouth. Like, I told y'all, these rules are in place for the people that ain't paying. You 13, you 16. 
you are really a minor. What can you do for yourself? I mean, yeah, you can go out there and get you a little part time, but you can't go out there and really, really live on your own. You know, like in, in my mind, I don't really think that. Thirteen, they start changing it. Sixteen, so you helping them to. Uh, yeah, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I, I don't know what it is I'm trying to say, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Um, I that just that's a, that's ridiculous. I don't even have no words for that right there. Thirteen, they start changing it, and by sixteen, the child can take the parent's permission away. How about at sixteen, the parent can take their fingers away and then they draw back a nub? How about that? Can we do it like that? Okay, I'm sorry, I got overzealous. It don't matter. But I, I just didn't appreciate that there. Because I'm like, what do you mean? 16? Okay. Ooh, child. Mm, mm, mm. All right, here we go. So, oh, and then I was, you know, looking over some of the comments, and it's wild to me that if y'all cheering is getting like all these days or getting a week out for the dead presidents, these have been, they done went on way from here, and they, we still getting time off for them. Like, and with the cheering getting time off for them. I mean, that many days, why do they need a whole week? Once a break? Yeah, Florida don't get that. Florida don't get, I, I know when in Georgia, but by when we moved, there was no such thing as a fall break. Uh, yeah, when we got here in 2016, there was no such thing as a fall break. The fall break was Thanksgiving, which is what they get here. They get Thanksgiving break, where they get Labor Day, of course. Then they get Thanksgiving break, and then, um, with what y'all call a winter break. Christmas is the winter break here. Okay. And then um what else? After that, okay, we get Martin Luther the King. Then after Martin Luther the King, what here we go this, this day of President's Day. And then um next the next break these cheering get is um yeah, spring break. That's all the breaking they doing. They do enough. They, they break enough as it is. Okay, they break enough. I just cannot believe all the all the responses that I had that these these cheering getting all these days out for the dead presidents. That is wild to me. Shaw, bye. Okay. At any rate, let me see. What was what was I? Um. They break and I'm broke. Right. Because every time they break, it, it's it, they causing us coins. Okay. They eat up the house. Right. Especially Chris. Especially Chris. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is uh, from Catherine Jackson, 9411. She said, no ma'am, I don't say the beginning part of the video, but I always, always say the ending. And when Silk ain't there to say peace, I feel a little sad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Sorry, sis. Um, you know, I feel like y'all can say whatever y'all want about me down in them comments. But you know, I, I got a comment the other day that really kind of put me off, and it was about Silk. And they said, they, the lady was saying that Silk was mean. I didn't appreciate that because Silk and Mean don't even go together. They ain't, Silk don't have a mean bone in his body. I'd have, you know, if she'd have said that about me, maybe, I would have, you know, okay, I, I might have took that a little bit better. But um, I'm, I, in my opinion, I'm still one of the nice people you ever want to meet. I don't bother nobody unless you bother me. I match energy, okay? That's the type of person I am. I mind my own business unless you bothering me. And I ain't like that she had said that. You know, I normally, you know, I've been doing this YouTube thing almost five years now. So, I, you know, I'm the people going to say stuff. And the comment that I don't like is when the creators, when we respond back and they say, well, you put it out there. Okay, yeah, we did. But come on now, like everything don't require a comment. That's how I was raised. Everything that you see that you don't like or hear, you ain't got to respond to it. Just keep it pushing. And that's what I told her. I was like, wow, you just had the comment, right? And I hope that made her feel better. Because it's people like her that just make my tail itch. You know, like I say, say what you want about me, but with, but my family, tread lightly in them comments when it comes to my peoples. Mm -mm, tread lightly because I match energy. And I'm telling you, I, get, I will get back with you. You know, I say, Lord, they, I'm trying to make it to heaven. Lord, I'm trying to make it to heaven. They just, they, they keep putting all these obstacles in your girl way. Okay? Hey, that rhyme. Putting all the obstacles in your girl way. Obstacles, obstacles, obstacles. Y'all know the silk don't even be moved by my foolishness no more because he been dealing with it for almost 25 years. <sighs> Baby, you got to breathe like that, okay? Anyways, um, I think, was that it? What, what was this? Oh, Simply Montica. Uh-huh. I wonder why they put no numbers at the end of your handle. Because everybody else got all these numbers and stuff. They ain't put no numbers at the end of your handle. Say, hey, Queen Tiff. Hey there, girl. Uh-huh. She said, yes, I sing the song and say the opening and closing lines. Oh, and every time you say bye-bye now, and Silk say, 
<laughs> yep. Yes, indeed. And this one comes from user T278. See how she got a number? Girl, I'm going to take what happened to your number. It don't matter. My son and I say the beginning and the ending with you. Heck, my son says the ending when he leaves school. <laughs> bye. Bye now. <laughs> Ooh, child, I love it. I, I've been wanting to ask y'all that for a while, and I just never did, child. But, um, are they going to stop? Because they look like they don't know. What, they, they, they look like their brakes ain't working. You see how they didn't give us time to get over here? Yeah, I find automobile. Slow down a little bit. Anyways, I just wanted to ask y'all that. So we're gonna go over here and get this piece out of Lowe's, child. And um, baby, what you did with the bees? You got it? We're gonna go and get this piece out of Lowe's and then we're gonna head on back to the crib and we'll see y'all then, okay? Alrighty then. Bye bye now. <laughs> How you there? Good Monday morning to you. Child, it's the dead president's day and the cheering is in the house. Everybody's in residence. Uh-huh. And uh, me and Silk are chair and um, we getting ready to put my little plant shelf in the window here. And um, let me uh, turn this around and show y'all what he's doing. One moment. Okay, so what we have here is the wood and we got the clamps here that silk is uh screwing in right here and what is going to happen is we're going to take that and turn it around and it's going to clamp onto the window sill that's that's how that's going that's how that's going um that's how we're going to be able to keep it in the window and who's knocking on the door child somebody's knocking one moment y'all okay anyway y'all somebody trying to sell something child but anyways so what we got is the i think i just said we got the clip here silk already put uh screw this in and what's gonna happen is we're just gonna this clamp we're just gonna screw it and it's gonna um it's gonna clamp on to the um to the window sill here and um that's that's how i'm gonna be able to sit my plants up here and everybody can get some light child i'm excited one moment okay yeah anyway like i was saying i'm excited about that i can't wait mm -hmm, i can't wait um because i got two uh plants that's sitting on my table in the um in the kitchen and Everybody just need to be brought over here. And I'm glad we decided to do the um, the plant shelf in the window. That way, I don't have to worry about any flow space. Because I was going to try to do like a, make like a little table or something. And um, that, but I said, you know, I felt like that was just going to take away. It was going to kind of make me feel a little closed in and whatnot or something. I don't know. So I was on Pinterest Child and saw that idea. I think um, they actually, they were selling them on um uh, Etsy that's where that's where you can get it from but I said why buy one when we can just get the wood and just make it ourselves so bam there it is and that's what we fixing to do so once silk get it up here I'll show y'all um what it's looking like okay alrighty then bye bye now Should have spray painted the clamps black 
But I said, you might not want to do that yet because what if they don't work? What if, what if the, the, it don't work out the way you planned it? So I, I, I said, I'll just hold off on that. But then now that they own their job, I don't want to have silk unscrew them and take them off and do all of that. So they're going to be on that this parent because you really can't see it. But, uh, well, you know, I could hand paint them. That's an option as well. I don't know. We'll see. But I know unscrewing and taking all that down, that's just, we're just not going to do that. Uh, I mean, taking them out of there. I'm just not going to do that. That's a bit merch. But um, I still like the way that it came out. The curtains, though, is an issue for me. I don't know how I feel about them curtains because they kind of in the way. You know, and I want everybody to get their fast share of sunlight that they deserve. You know, I, I, I put the thing over there for a reason. And everybody need to get them some sunlight and stuff, you know. So, um, I, don't, I, I don't know about them curtains, child. I, just, I, I flipped them up to get them out the way because they was laying on the, even though they were hanging straight down, they was kind of laying on the plants a little bit. And I said, I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm going to have to figure out something. I don't know. But anyway, I still love the way that it turned out. I don't have to worry about anything being on the flow. Still got my flow space. And I don't feel claustrophobic. I still feel like I got a fair amount of room over there. Okay? Yeah. So um, that's it. Yeah. The vlog is going to come to an end, child. We do. That's enough. Um, I'm going to add these last little clips over into this vlog so I can upload it. And it will be ready for you all tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yep. That's it. We, I'm going to go. I'm finna go. Ain't, ain't nothing that's left to be said, done. Ain't nothing that's left to see here, okay? All right. So, uh, uh, y'all already know what I'm about to say. You do. You really do. Like always, all good things come to an end. I hope y'all enjoy hanging out with us. Y'all make sure you subscribe with your bell turned on because there's always more to come. And I think that's all I need to say to y'all. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, now. Y'all be blessed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye now. Love you. Hey.